All right, howdy y'all, Tony down at Greens again. And today, as you saw, we've got a Shadow Saber from a Honda, uh, 1100cc V-Twin Beast. This thing has flames on it, so of course that makes it go faster. Uh, as we all know, flames make everything go faster. You see, it's a good, clean looking bike. It has been, it is a stock bike uh, outside of the grips, which I'll show you in just a moment. It does have the uh, sissy bar on it. Uh, it is peg and standard shifter. Um, and here are those uh, aluminum grips. And the nice thing about this bike is it's a 2007 Honda Sabre 1100 with a clean title. And as you can see there, it's only got 850 total miles on it. Uh, this bike was not ridden much, uh, and of course it is a shaft drive motorcycle, and I'll go ahead and fire it up for you here so you can hear it run. Just a good, mellow, little throaty sound from the V-Twin, and now it's time to go have a little bit of fun. So today we're on a 2007 Honda Saber 1100 with a clean title. Can you believe that? Uh, this is a gorgeous little bike. Well, I can't really say little. It's an 1100. It's not exactly small. Uh, it's got uh, the black. Well, you saw it. The black with the flames and and the cool is going on because well, you know, flames make them go faster. And so yeah. This is uh, this will be the second Sabre I've ridden, uh, so I'm kind of looking forward to this because it is uh, as big a bike as it is. Uh, it's rather nimble and fun to play on, and uh, so I'm actually really looking forward to this one. Uh, let's go. This is going to be a short little video on this bad boy, because uh, we know what we know what we're getting ourselves into for the most part. It's a decent sized V-twin. It's got all that torque and oomph to it to just pull away whenever you need the power. Uh, but the thing that I like so much about the Sabres, uh, since they are technically a shadow, I suppose, uh, is how nimble they are. I do love that about the Honda Shadows. Uh, and the Honda lines in general seem to be like that. Let's go on the wrong side of the road because it's smoother over here. Uh, is just how easy uh, not easy. How, uh, how well they handle, uh, even with the the bigger cruisers like the VTX and the Sabre 1100. They are good running bikes and nimble bikes. Uh, they behave like bikes that are considerably smaller. And even though it's not heel toe shifter, uh, I've got a soft spot in my heart for uh, bikes with uh, for cruisers with pegs too. Uh, it doesn't quite have that oomph of shifting, uh, but a standard shifter is. It, it gets the job done nicely. So anyways, uh, what is there to say about this thing other than that you don't already know? It looks good, it's a clean title. The seat is, oh my goodness, this seat is comfy. Uh, I love it whenever I haven't been on big cruisers for a while and then I get on one again. And the seat, uh, let's look at myself in the mirror. Uh, how, how comfortable the seats are on the bigger cruisers. Uh, especially whenever it, I either haven't been on one or the only cruisers I've been on have been smaller cruisers. Uh, so it's really nice to get back on one again. Uh, there is a moderate amount of wind resistance with this, uh, which, I mean, you would expect that uh, to an extent with it being just a bare cruiser. Uh, but it's not, actually it's not bad uh, at cruising speed, at highway speed. It's just whenever you accelerate, you get that... Uh, the shoulder pull from the bike itself and the, the wind resistance from the increased speed so uh, it's nothing nothing that's bad it, it's, it's just expected because once you uh, even back out on speed it just goes back to the, a regular pull it, it's not pulling back on you any. so that's kind of nice and uh, yeah, I'm just going to cruise along here uh, for a minute uh, I don't really know what else to say about the bike it's 
It's just, uh, let's get reacquainted with it. The hanging bars are a little bit higher than I'm used to than uh, on the saver on the saver I've ridden before. Uh, it's not a bad thing. It's just different. Uh, I'm used to the uh, lower sweat back bars uh, instead of being twisted up like this. Uh, wow, that bike accelerates nicely coming out of that turn back there. It just dips into turns nicely. Uh, I mean, nothing, nothing insane. I mean, it, it, it's not going to confuse itself for an enduro or a, a sport bike even or a sport touring bike. But for what it is, it moves through corners nicely. Uh, got plenty of room. Uh, take them at a comfortable cruising speed uh, with the pegs for clearance. Uh, I mean, unless you're really laying, well, not really laying them over, but laying, laying it over pretty good for what it is. Uh, you don't have to worry about scraping the pegs on it. Uh, like that right there, I still had a good three, four inches. So that part's not bad. And yeah, it's it's a good little running bike. And, and it only has, I mean, it's shy of 900 miles with a clean title is an 07. Uh, whoever owned this bike before, uh, they were missing out on uh, everything this bike has to offer. Uh, not even putting 900 miles on it while they owned it. And this bike's just recently come to the shop, so it's not like it's been one that we've had sitting back there waiting to be repaired or anything like that. It's uh, It's been sitting there for a while. Uh, so that part, the guy, who whoever owned it, uh, just didn't ride it for whatever reason. So his loss, your gain. You come in and check this bad boy out. Uh, it is only $4,500, like I said, clean title. Um... Uh, so yeah, that's going to be going to be about it. I'm going to go over here and I'm going to turn around. I'm not going to go on the big loop. I uh, didn't stop to get gas, and I know it's a little bit low on fuel, so um, really not going to mess with that. I can get it up to speed good going back the other way. Uh, maybe cut something out of the video for that. Nice, easy little turnaround there. That turns around almost as easy as the uh, as the 883 did. That's impressive. It's as big a bike as this is. So. Oh, of course. I think that might be the same truck that I was following the other day that took forever to get down through there. Yep, I'm pretty sure it is. Because that sucker's moving about 2025 again. Oh, that's a wolf-looking dog over there. What is that? It's a shepherd? Big old fuzzy sucker. All right, what do y'all think? They give him enough time? Oh, there's somebody coming. It was a different truck. I was playing around sneaking up behind him like Jaws. Go da 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 on him. But he turned. Man, I do like this bike. I do like it. As much as I love Kawasaki's and Suzuki's, I, I would have to say if I had to limit myself to just a cruiser. Uh, more than likely, I would go with a Honda. I've had good luck out of my little uh, VLX 600, and uh, all the Hondas that I've ridden, I've absolutely loved them. Uh, I love the cleans for the pegs. I love how, uh, how nimble they are, even though they're larger bikes sometimes, and how comfortable the seats are, uh, which, I mean, if you're going to be riding a cruiser, you might as well be comfortable, because hopefully you can ride it. Uh, you've got a tank on it big enough to ride for long distances, and you don't have to worry about having to stop every 100, 150 miles for fuel. 
and with the uh, the Hondas, they have you spread out so much, especially on the bigger ones, with a little bit forward foot controls, uh, your hands up and away from you a little bit more, so it's not swept back like the Suzuki's, and uh, everything on the positioning, the ergonomics for the bike, uh, it just begs to be ridden for extended amounts of time. So, that, yeah, I like this one. I mean, I like it a lot. It's not the jump up and kick you in the teeth comfort and power, or kick you in the teeth power and torque of a, a ZX14, but it's it's on par comfort wise, uh, comfort wise with it. I'm just more comfortable in that position uh, than I am riding in the upright position on a cruiser. So yeah, that's going to be about it for this thing. It's a like I said, 2007 Honda Sabre with a clean title. And you can stop on over by our website. The website is really picking up steam. Yeah, thank you guys for uh, switching over to the new website after having to come from the old one. And uh, it seems that we're starting to get uh, better traffic flow where everyone's actually coming over to it and bookmarking it now instead of having the old one bookmarked. You can stop by at the new site and check it out at greencyclesalvage.com. Uh, and on the website, we have a, uh, a parts request form over on the right side near the Facebook like button. Uh, where you can just punch in your year, make and model of the bike and the part you're looking for, and we can get back to you. Uh, just punch in the information here, email address, telephone number, which one you prefer to be contacted back at, and we can let you know uh, the availability, availability and price of the part. Uh, and if you're not in the area where it's a uh, reasonable uh, travel time to the shop, uh, we can ship most things out to you, and uh, we can take that information over the phone and get you taken care of on that. And then, like I mentioned a while ago, we do have the Facebook page. You can like us through the website, or you can go to Facebook itself and search for Green's Motorcycle Salvage and find us there and like the page. We do have little daily updates and posts there, uh, do link videos through there, do immediate updates for bikes that just come in before they go into the website, uh, just show it off, and uh, have a uh, little easier interaction there so that we're the, because, well, don't have spam bots on there. Uh, and then, of course, uh, the new addition would be the uh, the new addition would be the YouTube channel. It's a dedicated YouTube channel for the shop, Greens Motorcycle Salvage. You can find us there. Uh, you can subscribe to it. Uh, so if you have a YouTube account, you can you'll just get emails from Google. Google, you'll get emails from Google whenever there's a uh, new subscription updates. Uh, or if you sign into YouTube, then it'll be there on your homepage and uh, show the new. Uh, the new videos as well, which we normally have at least one video a week. Sometimes I'll get out and I'll make a couple or just have little goof-off videos and we go out riding, that type of stuff. And I guess that's going to be about it. Uh, come on down and see us and uh, enjoy this weather while it lasts. And uh, we'll be talking to you all here sometime. <laughs>